Hey everybody, Jerry Springer here, and this uh, pre-calculus lesson is on families of graphs. Okay, so um, uh, let's do board problem here. Uh, determine whether the graph is symmetric with respect to the x-axis, uh, the y-axis, the line y equal x, the line y equal negative x, or none of these. And that's what we're going to do with those. I'll remind you how to uh, determine those. And then number three is uh, complete the graph so that this graph is an odd function, which means uh, symmetric with respect to the origin. Okay, so determine whether the graph is symmetric with respect to the origin, uh, the x-axis, y-axis, um, the line y equal x, and y equal negative x. Okay, here's the rules right here, you guys. So um, uh, so we're looking at these ones, x-axis, at y-axis, y equal x, and y equal negative x. Okay, so we're going to use these rules right here. So for x-axis, I'm going to substitute in negative y. For y-axis, I'm going to substitute in negative x. If I get the same equation, then yes. Uh, and then for uh, the line y equal x, I reverse the, the, the coordinates, and if it's the same, then yes. Line y equal negative x, I reverse them and switch the signs, and yes, if they're the same. Okay, so here when I plug in uh, negative uh, y right here, it's the same as positive y squared. Here when I plug in negative x, it's the same as positive x squared. So it is x-axis and y-axis uh, um, symmetry on that one, but it's nothing else on that. Because uh, when I plug in negative, um, uh, when I switch the ordered pairs and put the y squared here and the x squared here, um, it won't work. So it's, I, I know it's not uh, y equals x or y equals negative x. This one, none of them works on that one right there. Okay, and then number three, uh, complete the graph so that the graph is an odd function. Okay, um, uh, another way, if they give you the ordered pairs, then what you got to do for odd is you reverse the ordered pairs and you switch the signs. Okay, so odds it would be just to be um, uh, this negative or this uh, two one half is going to be um, just reverse them and it'd be negative two comma negative one half. I'm sorry, just uh, change all the signs of all of these to make it odd, you guys. Okay, so uh, to change the signs of these guys, negative one half negative two is going to be down here and so on. Okay, all right, so that would be an odd, which means uh, it's symmetric with respect to the origin. Okay, families of graphs. Okay, if a parent graph. Um, if the parent graph uh, is f of x equals x, then uh, the g of x equals a times parentheses b plus or b times x plus c parentheses plus d. I know it looks confusing, you guys. This is just our general rule of how to move them, you guys. I don't think your book gives you this right here. Okay, so the a moves me a vertical factor of a. So if it's negative, then it uh, reflects it over the x-axis. The B uh, is a horizontal factor of the reciprocal of this. So whatever this is, if it's the, what's ever right next to the X, then it's the reciprocal of that. That C moves it uh, to the left if it's a positive and moves it to the right if it's negative. And this D moves the whole graph up if it's positive D and down if it's negative D. Okay, that's the general rules on, on all of that right there. So here's some parent graphs, and you need to know these, you guys. You need to get put, put these down in your memory books. These are from your algebra skills. Okay, the constant function. This is, it's hard to see, you guys. This is y equals 0 because it's on the x-axis. It's this blue line right here. This is the constant function. Let's see if I can get a little bit bigger right here. Okay, so there's that constant function right there, y equals 0. Let me undo that. All right, and then... Um, uh, this is the, the identity function, y equals x. Can you see the blue line going right up here? y equals x, 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 0, 0, negative 1, negative 1, and so on. Okay. Um, polynomial functions, that's y equals x squared from your algebra class. Uh, this is y equals x cubed from your algebra 2 class. Um, and then uh, this is uh, um, y equals uh, x to the fourth. Okay. It's the same as x squared over there. All right, so uh, as long as you know these, and then square root functions, you guys. Remember, square root, um, uh, the square root when x is 1, the square root of 1 is 1. When x is 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, the square root of 4 is 2. If I had went over 9, it would go up 3. Okay, so um, that's your square root function right there. Your absolute value function, we did some of those. Um, your greatest integer function, we did some of those. Okay, so those are our parent graphs. Now we're going to move them up, down, stretch them, all that stuff right here. And a rational function, y equals 1 over x. Okay, um, this guy is symmetric both to this line right here, y equals negative x, and this line right here, y equals positive x. Okay, so you might see x, y equals 1, or you might see y equals 1 over x, or y equals x to the negative 1. It gives you this graph right here. Those are rational functions. Got to know those, you guys.
Okay, so graph f of x equals x cubed. Okay, remember that's that kind of that sort of ziggy thing going down through the origin. And then graph g of x equals negative x cubed. It's just going to be the reflection of that. That negative reflects it over the x-axis and describe how the graphs are related. Okay, there's y equals x cubed right there. Okay, 0 cubed is 0. 1 cubed is 1. If I could graph it up here, 2 cubed, 2 to the third is 8, so it would be up here somewhere. Okay, negative 1 cubed is negative 1. Negative 2 cubed is negative 8. There's y equals x cubed. All right, now, imagine reflecting that over this x-axis right here, because that's what this negative does right here. It's going to take this and just flip it upside down, okay? So you're going to have both of them together right there. Here's a, a y equals x cubed, the blue one, and the pink one over here is y equals uh, negative x cubed right there. Okay, and describe the graphs. They're just reflections over the x-axis of each other. Okay, use the parent graph of y equal x cubed to sketch the graph of each function. Okay, don't forget, there's your um, uh, y, here's my parent graph, y equals x cubed right there. That's the parent graph right there. Okay, this minus 1 just means it's, there's no parentheses involved, so that just means slide this down 1. Okay, so it's going to be the same graph, just go down 1. So it's going to look like that. Okay? All right, so there's the same graph, it just instead of going through 0, 0, it goes through 0, negative 1. All right, okay, let's do the same graph. For, okay, here's y equals x cubed. Now, this minus 1 inside the parentheses means shift it to the right one. So I'm going to take this graph right here and shift it to the right one. All right, there it is. Okay, uh, y equals um, x minus 1 cubed to the right one, up 3. Okay, so I'm going to take that graph to the right one, up 3. Can you see it? Pretty cool, huh? All right, let's see. Write an equation for the graphs of g of x, h of x, and k of x if the parent graph of f of x is the cube root of x. Okay, the cube root of x looks like this. Um, remember, if all else fails, make a t-chart. The cube root of negative 8 is negative 2. The cube root of negative 1 is negative 1. So here's 0, 0, down 1, over 1, or um, negative 1, negative 1. Negative 8 would be over here, negative 2, okay? Cube root of 0 is 0, 1, 1. Cube root of 8 is over here, 8, 2. Okay, so uh, y equals the cube root of x. There's uh, my parent graph of uh, f of x equals cube root of x. Okay, so um, here's this one right here. Okay, what's, what's this one doing, you guys? This is g of x. Okay, this says g of x right here. So it looks like it's this graph right here just going shifted up 1. So it's going to be uh, f of x plus 1. So it's going to be um, the cube root of x plus 1. All right. Okay, what about this guy? Okay, this is, now compare it with this one. Here's the parent graph right here. It's flipped upside down. I can see that right there. And it looks like it's being shifted to the right 1. Okay, shifted to the right 1 is parentheses inside with a minus 1. Okay, so it's the inside stuff, x minus 1. It's the, the uh, negative. The negative says it's going to be reflected. That negative right there makes it reflected. And then the minus 1 makes it go to the right one. Okay, all right. Uh, okay, this guy right here, how is this guy compared to this guy right here? Okay, looks like it's being, whoops, looks like it's being, uh, there's the origin right there. Uh, looks like it's going to the left 2, up 1 right there. Okay, so you're going to get... Um, uh, the cube root of x plus 2 and then plus 1. All right, describe how the graph of f of x and g of x are related. Okay, so uh, these guys. Okay, so if f of x equals x squared and g of x equals 3 fourths x squared, then that 3 fourths um, uh, is a vertical, um, it, it, it makes it wider by 3 fourths. I mean, it, it's, it's 3 fourths as wide as f of x right there. That's what that says right there. Okay, now what happens when the three forces inside the parentheses? That's when you do the reciprocal of that, you guys. So the graph is compressed horizontally by a factor of four-thirds. I do the reciprocal when it's inside the parentheses. Okay. All right, so, okay, this is a greatest integer function, but I just want to know how is this graph related to this graph right here. Okay, this reflects it over the x-axis. This plus two makes it go to the left two, and this minus one makes it go down one right there. All right. And so that's it.